and pronounce husband and In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. wedding like this yeah. father will bless your holy name yeah. despite all odds you have you are still with us yes, father Lord. will bless your holy name yeah. be that glorified be that magnified yeah. in the mighty name of jesus yeah. christ my lord and my redeemer but i want to first appreciate god who has given us the gift of life and that is why we are here to celebrate this with us today. For that, I say thank you, every one of you.
want to say uh, I thank God for the for the couples that are getting married. It wasn't an easy journey, but um, we thank God that uh, finally it has, uh, it has come to the D-Day when they join hands together in holy matrimony. Well, we give God the glory, and I'm really, really, really happy for her that she is getting married. Despite all 
odds you have you are still with us yes, father we bless your holy name be that glorified be that magnified mm -hmm. in the mighty name of jesus mm -hmm. christ my lord and my redeemer we are going to go to your house okay of glory father may you guide and protect us mm -hmm. father may you take control of the service of today mm -hmm. take control of the god oh god mm -hmm. father glorify yourself in our lives oh lord mm -hmm. in the name of jesus christ mm -hmm. as many as those that have come to see Oh God of heaven, celebration will never depart from their life. Mm -hmm. They have will have the reason, oh God, to say thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. They have to have the, they will have the cause to celebrate, oh God, mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Father, from the beginning of the service to the end, oh God. To also beginning the, of the heart to the end, oh God. Father, take all the glory and let your name be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. I do, I do, I'm a little woman, I do, I sit my faith.
congratulations. You have a very big gift on this particular day. So you can be seated too before the appropriate time. Praise the name of the Lord. Again, I say welcome to this all-important program. We have sung, we have worshipped, and uh, our time has been eroded. So we're going to skip the praise and worship because we've been doing that for a long time now. I will still do that later. Amen. Amen. We want to appreciate everyone, of, everyone that is here, and particularly those who traveled all the way from London and from other parts of Europe, Germany, to be here. So you are all welcome. We are saying welcome in the name of Jesus. And every other one that regards himself as a special guest, me, I am a special guest and host. So you are all welcome. Amen. Amen. But there are some people who like to know not just in their presence, but also in knowing their identity. The pastors that are here, our colleague is wedding, and they are here. If you are a pastor, please can we have you stand up and tell us who you are, where you are coming from. That will help us to recognize you except you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> but every other person, tell us your name and where you are coming from. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. My name is Pastor Marcel Udeke. I'm from uh, Antwerp, from the Grace Ministry. God bless you. Amen. Let's give you a Amen. Amen. My name is Pastor Chika Davis, from Levi to World Mission, Antwerp, Belgium. God bless you. <laughs> My name is Pastor Stephen Andrew. I'm from World of, uh, I'm from God is Able Ministry here in Brussels. My name is Pastor James Adewe, the Overseer Light of the World Ministry in AST, and also coordinator for the Deep Presentation of God in Moses. My name is Ben Agumaru. I'm a pastor of the Deep Presentation of God, Better House and Nicholas. My husband is not here, so I want to introduce him. He is Pastor Elias Ajiman from Amsterdam. Okay. Let's not pray. Give us, Mommy, Mommy, Pat. Let's hear how food. Bless you all. My name is Professor Special Sigile. We from a traditional prayer group. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Give her a very big hand. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm Francis. Exactly, Francis. I work with the Greater Love Assembly here in Belgium. And uh, I'm a missionary in this city. Amen. Amen. Can you give me a give me a big hand? Give it to me. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. It's good to be surrounded by ministers. In the emergency, just call them and they will call heaven on your behalf. Amen. Amen. That's why we want them to introduce themselves. These are serious uh, instruments in the hand of the Almighty God. Praise the name of the Lord. Wow, haven't said this. As I said, we are going to break everything and uh, make sure that we cover cover the most important aspects of this gathering. Today is a very remarkable uh, day. We have a man of God we did not introduce. And I'm going to just introduce him and we will be following his direction. He is our main officiating minister today who will lead this couple in the most important <coughs> decisions of their lives, apart from giving their life to Christ. You know, marriage is extremely important. Ask me. I've been married for 
32 years, 33 years. I'm not a young boy, I'm an old, and I'm, I'm, I'm an old man in this business. So for that reason, I know that apart from getting saved, the most important decision that you can take is to find somebody that can share your faults, share your weaknesses, share your joy, share your wisdom, share your foolishness some of the time, and endure you and you stay together for a long time is the most important decision. And uh, I believe today, before the man of God comes, this marriage relationship that we are a part of today is a way of saying marriage can still be celebrated in Brussels. Yes. Marriage can still be celebrated in Belgium, yes. in Europe, and all the parts of the world. That's why right, all the crashes that we are seeing in marital relationship. We can still stand tall and maintain a relationship. So that's why, without wasting time, let me invite the man whose job it is to lead us in all the ways that he will lead us. Let's welcome Pastor Olumide of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Let's give the God to him. Amen. I want to appreciate the Most High God for this great privilege that is given to me to stand before the people of God to officiate this important program today. The institution that is ordained by God, the institution that started from the genesis of the world. And I want to use this opportunity to appreciate all the men of God in the house, all the important dignitaries that are here today. As we have come to honor today, the Lord will honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to thank God for the life of our pastor, Pastor Peter. And like Pastor rightly said, pastors, while well, they are also pastors. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And because of this, they have made my work to be easy today. Because I'm talking with people of understanding. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And before we go shortly into the word of God, the time is fast spent. Briefly, I will talk about the mysteries of marriage. And before we go into that, I want to say this. As we are waiting for the coming of the Lord, Brethren, there's one thing I want us to have at the back of our mind that time, time and timing is very important before the Lord. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, Bible says, there's time for everything. Today is a day of joy. And the Lord Almighty is coming very soon. And we need to be prepared at all times. I'm saying in essence that we must be conscious of the time. And also on the same page with our pastor, we have to cut things short, 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 even though today is a day of joy, because many of us will still have other programs after here. And I pray that God of heaven and the earth will hear us today in Jesus' name. Amen. I just want to sing this song, because what we are doing today it's a spiritual exercise as well as physical. And there are mysteries in marriage. But we want to call upon the name of the Lord in our singing to appreciate Him for this day. You are the miracle walking God. Your name is Yahweh.
We thank you for a special day like this. Thank you, Lord, for the institution you God started. We thank you, Lord, for the life of your son, Pastor Peter, and the wife. We thank you, Lord, for the guiding of today. Right from the creation of God, you have ordained today to be. We thank you, Lord, for everyone present here today. Lord, we pray that you take preeminence in Jesus' name. Amen. We call upon your name today, O Lord, to be, O God, the one to direct our step today in Jesus' name. Amen. Everything we are going to do today, Lord, I pray that you will be the anchor and the driver of the program of today in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray, O God, that as you are joining, O God, your son and your daughter together, Lord, I pray that you shall bring sweetness into their home in Jesus' name. Amen. All the challenges, O God, associated with marriage, Lord Almighty, we stand, O God, with them today. As ministers, we pray, O God, that you will help them through in the name of Jesus. There's a song that says that the road is rough, but we believe that you are the one who can direct our path. Lord, you will direct their path today in Jesus' name. As many that are married and are expressing one challenge or the other, because they have come today, Lord, I pray that you have your way in their marriage in Jesus' name. As many that are yet to marry and they are looking unto you, because they are represented here today, Lord, you will answer them in Jesus' name. Amen. Many of us, oh God, who have been married 32 years, 10 years, and still in the marriage, the Lord will keep us till they come in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, everlasting Father. May your name alone be glorified. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brethren, you can be seated. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, I want to appreciate the Most High God and also the woman of God in the house. May the Lord continue to increase her in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to thank also my wife and my family, my children that are here. Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I pray that the Lord will continue to support us in Jesus' name. Amen. I remember a few years ago, maybe many of you are present during our own marriage. Pastor said 32 years of marriage. We are still following. Praise the Lord. You get the I will get there and surpass in Jesus' name. This year, sir, we are also 10 years. Praise the Lord. It is well in Jesus' name. Amen. Brethren, I just want to tell us about the mysteries of marriage. A lot of people are going into marriage without understanding the mysteries involved in marriage. I want to let us know that right from the creation of the world, God himself made this institution known. And the first surgical operation was performed during the time of the first wedding. That is why I know that what we are doing today is spiritual and also physical. Why did I say that? God had to do the first operation by opening Adam and breaking the bone and make that bone to become a woman. That is the first surgical operation for the essence of marriage. And God said, it is not good for a man to be alone. If God that created the heavens and the earth make this remarkable statement, then we should know that it is a serious matter. That it is not good for a man to live alone. And that is why God decided to make an enemy for Abraham. And when you go further to the book of John chapter 2, Jesus Christ, when he came to the world, the first miracle he performed was in the marriage in Canaan of Galilee. That is why we took that song that our God is a miracle worker. And I know that in this union today, 
God is going to do a miracle in the name of Jesus. Amen. I said God will do a miracle in the name of Jesus. Amen. That is why we took that song. And when you open the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 28, Bible says, and God blessed them. And God said, they should be fruitful, multiply, replenish, have dominion. God gave us five manifolds of blessings right from the creation of the world. And what our brother is doing today is to be fruitful, is to multiply, is to have dominion, is to replenish. And I pray that the Lord of heaven and the earth will support him in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Marriage is to be a physical and spiritual lifelong covenant between a man and a woman. That's why I first said that I am a pastor from the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Christ Ambassadors in Brussels here. And thank God that I said my wife is here and my wife is a woman. Praise the Lord. Oh, I said my wife is a woman. Oh, I said my wife is a woman. Because these days we need to make identification. We need to make, the statement must be clear. Because we have other people that are also doing marriage, but we know they are on the other side. That's why we need to be careful. I introduce my wife. My wife, can you wave your hand? Look at us, it's a woman. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And thank God, I was not invited today to come and join man and man. Which is against the scripture. The truth must be said. And I pray that God will help us today in Jesus' name. It's a lifelong covenant between a man and a woman before God and the society. We are before the Almighty God today and before the men of God in the house. Corporate anointing. You are blessed, sir. In the mighty name of Jesus. And before various witnesses in the house of God. And I pray that what we are doing today, by the time you look back, and see what God will do for you. You will appreciate God the more in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There is a deep relationship in marriage. Thank God for many of us that are married. And you know that in the world they used to tell us that you cannot give what you do not have. Never just what you don't have it. You can't give what you don't have. Marriage is not about age. Marriage is for mature people, not for boys. Yes. I said marriage is not for boys. It's for people with understanding. People that are mature. And I pray that the maturity of the Lord will be the stability of our time in Jesus' name. Amen. There are trends of divorces and separation in marriage today. There are single parenthood that is increasing in the world today. Thank God for our pastor that said it. That this one is symbolizing that marriage can still be done in Brussels, in Belgium, and the whole of Europe. Yes. Brethren, we must teach them. We must lead by example. We must show forth the glory of God. The one that instituted the marriage institution, then we must show forth that God is still alive. I pray that your marriage will be worthy of emulation today in Jesus' name. Yes. Marriage is a sacred, it has sacred values. And today, many homes are losing the relevance of marriage. And this is associated with societal problems. And they are now creeping into the church of God. You see so many problems in the house of God. The man of God asks people to carry their problems unto God. And the man look at the right and look at the left and carry the wife home. And people say, no, 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 the pastor did not say we should carry. He said, no, I'm carrying my problem unto God. Your home will not be like that in Jesus' name. Another man of God was praying for widows in the church. And the woman was standing before, beside the husband. And the woman was going up. They said, no, 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 man. They are not calling a man, they are calling the widow. The other one said, where are you going? I said, ah, you are you see that you are dead already. <laughs> that will not be your portion in Jesus' name. There are problems in marriages today. 
What is the essence of marriage? You must have the understanding before you go into it. Sir, you are going to a school that you can never graduate. That's right. Praise the Lord. Marriage is a school that no one has ever graduated. Sir, you are 32 years, you are still schooling, no? I said you are still schooling, sir. Praise the Lord. It's a school that you will never graduate on the Christ school. The man of God was telling me, he said, if you fail in your marriage, there's tendency for you to miss heaven. I pray that God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm still waiting for him to explain more to me. Though I've done my own research, and I see some point from what he told me. But I want to tell you today, if you are suffering a challenge in your marriage, there is still room for changes in the name of Jesus. Amen. God can still do it for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because Bible makes me to understand the book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 16. God hates divorce. God hates divorce. He instituted that marriage so that we can enjoy it and we can make it better and not bitter in it. Amen. And sir, you have done the right thing today. Somebody should help me to open to the book of John chapter 2. You have done the right thing today. Let's look at it together. I will make the message so short so that we can uh, go on. In Matthew, I mean, excuse me, in John chapter 2. John chapter 2. On the, I'm starting from 1. On the third day, there was a wedding in Canaan of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. In verse 2. Now both Jesus and his disciples were invited to the wedding. These couples, they did the right thing. They extended the invitation to the mother of Christ. And they went further to invite Jesus into the wedding. And I know today, sir, you must have invited Jesus into the wedding. You did not only extend that invitation to pastors alone. There are people that are here to support. So these couples, they realize that in the journey of marriage, there are challenges. And when those challenges begin to surface, who is going to help them? Look at what happened. They extended the invitation to Jesus. If they have not done that, Jesus will not get crashed. I know nobody will crash here today in Jesus' name. For me, I know I was invited. I don't know about you, maybe you get crashed. But I was invited. These couple, they invited Jesus into the wedding. And it was three, and they ran out of wine. Brethren, they ran out of wine. Sir, in marriage, there are times we run out of wine. That's right. Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, come and ask my pastor here. Okay. There are times we run out of wine. I could remember a time when I finished my master's in this country. You know, when you finish, they will ask you to go back. So we are trying to look for another master's, another master's. He got me and said, said, it's finished, you have to go back. I don't know you want to do, go back to where you came from. So this time, there was no paper, it was difficult, and you had wife and children at home. This particular day, there was nothing. You know women, I was just came. Ah, honey, ah, you know the children, they are, they are this thing that's finished to take to school. And uh, you know, and there was no father. Nothing. Sometimes the wine in the house run dry. But because you have invited Jesus into the wedding, That's right. what did I do that particular morning? My wife is here as a witness. I held her hand. I said, let's just pray. I prayed a simple prayer. I said, ah, I remember the word of God. I said, when the brooks got finished, the Lord sent the, the, the I mean, when the brooks got finished, the Lord sent Raven to come and feed Elijah. He sent her to bring food, the bread, and meat. And also the brute got finished. God provided another woman to take care of Elijah. Elijah, excuse me. So we prayed that simple prayer that day. Still, I know at the back of my mind that women, ha, ah, she said it in the morning. Before evening, something must be done. So I went out. I came back a few hours. That time I have to take a compulsory French class. Even not today. I can only say Saba. Sava, Sava, Sava in French. May God help us in Jesus' name. When there was no money, they sent you to school compulsorily. 
May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. What am I saying? I came back a few hours and somebody just called me. He said, Pastor, please, can you meet me at Madhu Station? I said, why is this man calling me Madhu Station? But I said, go now. And I go to Madhu Station. The guy just looked at me. He said, Pastor, bring your hand. He just shook my hand and he ran away. He ran away. I said, okay, okay, okay. I went to one corner of the uh, for the I mean, at the station. I went to one corner and I looked at it. It was 200 euros. Wow. I was calling the brother, brother, brother. He didn't pick my phone. So I went back to there. I said, "Yeah, what did you say is finished in the house? What did you say is finished in the house? Praise the Lord." And few weeks after, the brother told me that while he was working at work, the Spirit of the Lord said. Go and meet this pastor and bless him. I have not done anything for the brother. I have not seen him for a very long time. But the simple prayer I prayed has gone to where he was working. And he didn't have rest until he blessed me with 200, 200 euros. So I told my wife, what do you need? Buy this, buy that, buy that. And go and make me turn around. What am I saying? There are challenges in marriage. But the understanding thereof we help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Brethren, in marriage, it's a mystery because the man is coming from a different background. The woman is coming from a different background. And the two of them are coming together to form a union. And two, in the mathematics of God, two shall become one. So it's a win and win situation. Win and win. How do I mean? You are going to see very soon. Don't forget I said, God performed the first surgical operation in the institution of marriage. And Bible tells me that John chapter 4, Jesus said to, a woman, to, to her, Woman, what does your concern? Because the mother of Jesus went to, to, to him and said, They have no wine. So when the wine is not finished, sir, what do you have to do? You go to the man that has the manual of the marriage. When you have a car and you have the manual or you buy something, you have the manual, when you are having difficulty, where do you go? You consult the manual. But the problem of many of us today, the day we buy something, we begin to use it without even consulting the manual. That is the problem of many of us, even in marriage. But when we go back to the source, the one that started it, then you will have solution to any challenge that comes your way in Jesus' name. Amen. And Bible says, his mother said to the servant, whatever he says to you, do it. Whatever he says to you, do it. Because they invited Jesus, they encountered challenge, and God provides solution to their problem. That is why I have the confidence today that whatever challenge you are going to face, the Lord will see you through in Jesus' name. Amen. I said the Lord will see you through in Jesus' name. Amen. What are the ingredients that make marriage to work? Brethren, like I have said, even in Christian's home, there are surveys that show Christian couples, 50% of couples are dissatisfied with the management of finance in their home. One of the problems in home is finance. Like the example I made, I remember when we started receiving money for, for the children and my wife has not opened the account. I have my own account. So we went to where they do the payments and they were telling my wife, why are you bringing your, your man uh, account? My wife said, oh, I don't have an account. He says, there are money is about it. No, 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 it's for you. No, 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 it's for you. Don't, don't put it in his account. My wife said, no. The account of my husband is my own account. And the man is sitting there and saying, no, 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 it's for you, it's working, it's working. What am I saying? Do not allow the system of where we live to change the system of God. That is the problem of many of us today. There are challenges, there are trivial things that we should have handled. There are people that have seen. Now, I can bear witness, we know someone who received this kind of money and she was building in Africa without the knowledge of the husband. So why, what are we dragging? The money is meant for the children. In this little work of pastor that we do, we see a lot of things. 
And when you begin to understand the things that separate people, you will be amazed. When they give the money, they say it's for children. Why are you not struggling for it? When you use it to take care of the children, is it not for them? I pray that God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. I said God will help us in Jesus' name. Fifty percent of couples are dissatisfied with the management of finance. Many of us we hide what we hide from our wives. When Bible says that two shall become one, what are we hiding? If we want the progress of the family, we don't need to, we must be transparent to one. I mean to each other. Thirty-nine percent are dissatisfied with the management of marital affairs. Many of us we bring our parents into the home. We are heard from a man of God who said he knows the family who are separated now. What is the problem? There is nothing the woman will do. The husband will say, Oh, that's not the way my mother used to do it. That's not the way my mother used to cook. And you know, pack all I know. Go and bring your mother into the house. You don't bring your home, your family, I mean, into your home. I'm not saying that you should disregard your parents. But you, your home is your home. And the Lord will build it for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Whatever your mommy used to do before, this is a new home. Your wife is not your mother. Your wife is your helpmate. You do it together in the name of Jesus. Amen. Brethren, there must be transparency in marriage. And we need to communicate more. There must be communication. As the blood is in the body. Bible says that the life of every animal is in the blood. When the blood stops running in the body, then the body for, I mean, stops to, I mean, to function. If there is no communication in marriage, the marriage is dead. Where I was working, a man was telling me, it's now they are divorced. I pray that God will help them in Jesus' name. He said, when he come back from work, he will carry his newspaper. The wife will face the television. No talking. When they want to communicate, the other one says, I am going to sleep and put it on the paper, on the table. The one says, if you like, wake up or not, and put it on the, on the table. <laughs> That's how they communicate. It shows that that marriage is already disintegrated. I pray that God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. As Christians, we must show by example. We must teach them that this is God's institution and it's workable. I pray that this marriage today will be worthy of emulation in the name of Jesus. Amos 3 3 can two work together and say they be agree. You must agree. Before today, I know there must have been counselors. The Bible tells me that without counselors, purposes are defeated. But in the multitude of counselors, they are established. So I know we must have been counseled concerning today. I'm rounding up now. Praise the Lord. I said I'm rounding up now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We need to communicate more. And one of the deadliest weapons is when the couple stop talking. That's the deadliest weapon that the, I mean, the devil can use in marriage. Like I said, the first thing, the marriage should be God's center. God first, because he's the one that instituted that marriage. I pray that God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. And everything we do, there must be transparency. A lot of people, they have used Facebook to face out their marriage. <laughs> Facebook has faced out so many marriages. And I said, Twitter has tweeted so many marriages. <laughs> and LinkedIn has linked out so many marriages. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. I said, may God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. And one of the issues that also uh, I mean, be a problem in marriage is the issue of when husband and wife want to behave. I will use that word when they want to behave. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. A man, when God created Adam, he made sure that he provided a job for him. Bible said that God planted a vineyard and he, he made a man to till the land, to, to take care of it. Sir, you must provide for the home. You are the head of the home. As the Christ is the head of the church. Bible says that if a man fails to provide for his home, it's worse than an infidel. So you must provide for the home. Please don't let us change the principle of God. Ephesians chapter 5. Bible says for the husband is the head of the home. That's no 50-50 in the things of God. If you want it to work, the husband is the head. 
You can't substitute it. But that does not take the fact that the husband should not help their wives. I've seen a situation whereby the wife will go to work and come back. The husband will come back very early and cross the leg. The soup is in the fridge. He cannot even walk. He cannot do anything. The wife must come back to do everything. Oh, I'm an African man now. She has to do it. Brethren, if you want the wife to walk, I have a brother, he always tell me. Everything he needed to do in the house, he will do it for the sake of the wife. Why? Because when the night comes, I say, Oni, let's behave now. Oni, we answer. But when you don't do the right thing, Oni will misbehave. She will misbehave. Praise the Lord. I know a man. He will not walk. The wife will go to work. And when it's in the middle of the door, I say, Oni, let's behave. Yeah, you say, no, 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 I will misbehave. No, 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 no. <laughs> Why? Because the husband has substituted the day, sir, that you, you shift your responsibility to you lose your dignity. When you begin to shift your responsibility, I can understand that we are in Europe. There are situations whereby we don't have work. It is understandable. But that does not mean we cross our legs and say, ah, I help at home. Praise the Lord. My wife can be with this, I do dishes. Praise the Lord. I said I do dishes. You are surprised? Because I don't want her to misbehave when I touch her. It is well in Jesus' name. The issue is a critical issue also in marriage. According to that survey, 70% of Christians, they, they are dissatisfied with their marriages because of this issue of sex, if I may put it right. So we need to work it out. And the Lord Almighty will help us in Jesus' name. I said the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. We must learn, lastly, we must learn to appreciate one another. Let's encourage one another. Don't compare your man with another person. <laughs> see that brother, see that brother. Is he not a man? Is he not a man? And someone is asking you, I said, how is your husband? I said, that one. When they see your husband tomorrow, they say, ah, that one. Because you have labeled him that one. So don't compare your husband with another person. And husband, let's appreciate the little thing that our wife can do. Let us appreciate it. Let's buy gifts for our wives. Let's honor them so that the marriage will work. When you do so, it will work. And I pray that God will make it work in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I said God will make it work in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I know you are a man of God. Never, if you are here, you have told your wife to a punching bag. Never do that. Never do that. I know a pastor who said that in the battle, they called him because the neighbor reported a Christian, Christian home. Every time they're having problems, and this particular day, they rush to the house. They need to force the door open. And when they saw the, home, the door open, they find the wife battling the husband. The husband said, please, help me. That's how she has been doing. So it's not only the husband that beat the wife. There are some men that marry macho women. That's why you didn't marry a macho woman. Praise the Lord. So woman, please don't beat your husband. I know I'm talking to pastors. They will not fight in Jesus' name. Amen. It's not only men that beat their wife, even women. We have seen cases of women beating their husband. But in this one, we will never experience such in the mighty name of Jesus. I said we will never experience such in Jesus' name. It is not about competition. It is not about competition. It is working together. Working together. I know someone who because of inferiority complex in the house, anytime you might get the letter to work, he will tear it. The woman did a very good course, physiotherapy. But because the man did finance just to draw, how many people are drawing now? There are, there are high pads who can draw, can do, I mean, that can do everything. But the wife, when the wife gets a letter, the other will tear it. Why? Because he said, ah, if this woman gets this particular money, then ah, I will become a low land in the house. Brethren, it's not about competition. Husband and wife, we must work it out together. And the Lord will support us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I said the Lord will support us in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is well with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Also, I want us to know that today as we have come together, I've come to the head of the message. 
what I have said in essence is that the first thing that should be paramount in a marriage is God. God is the center of the marriage. Secondly, communication is very, very important. We must communicate everything. Nothing should be hidden. And also there must be transparency. We must manage the finance together. Sometimes men will think we have the best decision. Remember the case of a man called Naba. It was the wife Abigail that saved him. He said, look, that man happens to be a foolish man. Even his name, Naba, means foolishness. So we must try as much as possible to understand ourselves. And by so doing, we must also help out and show appreciation. I pray that today, as we have come together to celebrate this day, the Lord will make it enjoyable in the mighty name of Jesus. I said the Lord will make it enjoyable in the name of Jesus. If you are happy to celebrate with them, shout hallelujah. Amen. We want to thank God for that message. That is the message I have for the man of the day and the woman of the day. We proceed right now because of time. We proceed to uh, the second hymn. Then we go straight to the declaration of the vows of the marriage. We are at the peak of the program of today. And, um, as you can see in the agenda, it is time for the declaration, the marriage vows, and the exchange of rings. And I believe we also have the Bible here. Praise the Lord. So brethren, let's be attentive. This is the reason why we are here today. And once again, I want to appreciate you for your patience. I pray that the word of God you have had today will help you, even in your homes, in Jesus' name. Before we seal the marriage, as the officiating minister of today, being privileged by God to, uh, to be here today, I want to say that I do it according to how I was tutored and it is scriptural. I'm from the redeemed Christian Church of God and I'm a man under authority. And anything I'm going to do, everything I'm going to do here today is according to the word of God. And I pray that God that has discharged the heavenly host to be with us, we bless this day in Jesus' name. Amen. Sir, you are blessed. The Lord make the weather to be so bright. This one tells me that the mind will be bright and bright and bright in Jesus' name. Amen. Beloved brethren, we are gathered here today before God and this congregation to join our brother Peter and sister Mercy in holy matrimony and marriage is honorable status ordained by God himself before the fall of man and it symbolizes the union between Christ and the church that Christ's sanctioned marriage is evidenced by the fact that he honored an invitation to a wedding in Canaan of Galilee and he performed his first miracle there also Apostle Paul pointed out that marriage is honorable among men therefore Marriage should not be rushed into to satisfy carnal lust. It has to be approached with dignity and with the fear of the Lord. So why is the marriage? First, marriage is for mutual fellowship. Secondly, marriage is to check the sinful life of adultery so that we can keep ourselves holy as the body of Christ. And thirdly, Marriage is ordained for the purpose of rearing children that will be known to fear the Lord, abide with the teaching of his words, and glorify his holy name. And this agreement is between two who have agreed to be joined together. From the foregoing, therefore, if anybody, if anybody has any reason or reasons, they should not be joined in holy matrimony such a person 
should mention it now. If there is none, let everybody remain silent on this marriage forever. I repeat, if there is any reasons that anybody feels that we should not join Brother Peter and Sister Mercy today, such person should mention it now or remain silent on this marriage forever. For the last time, such person should mention it now or remain silent on this marriage forever. Hallelujah. So there is no cause for alarm. No cause for alarm in Jesus' name. Now, both of you should realize that those joint contrary to the wish of God are not acceptably joined together in the sight of the Almighty. Therefore, do any of you have reason or reasons you should not be joined together in this matrimony, sir? Amen. Hallelujah. Brother Peter, please, can you be on your feet? Can you be on your feet? Pastor Peter, do you engage this woman in marriage so that both of you will live together according to God's order of marriage? Will you love her, honor her, cancel her, nurse her, both in circumstances of plenty and poverty and sound health and illness? Will you leave women and keep to her alone as long as both of you please? Yes, I will. man to be your husband so that both of you will live together according to the will of God concerning marriage. Will you love him, obey him, not him, both in plenty and poverty, son health and illness? Will you reject other men and cleave to him alone? As long as both of you are alive? Yes, I will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who gave this woman in marriage to Brother Peter? Who gave the woman to this man? Take the right hand of Sister Mercy. Take the right hand. Yes, take the right hand. Take the right hand. But as the officiating minister, I'm going to hand over Sister Mercy into your hand to love, to keep to nurse according to the precepts of the most high God. You are going to say, you put your name, say hi, then your name. I, Peter, a Mofoma, accept you, accept you, sister, sister Mercy, in a as my wife, as my wife, as from today, as from today, to have, to have, to hold, to hold, for better for worse, for better for worse, in plenty, in plenty, in health, in health, and in sickness, and in sickness, I will love you, I will love you, and not you, and not you, according to the way of God, according to the way of God, till death do us part, till death do us part. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And my sister also. Hi. Hi, mercy. As from today, today, I said to you, I said to you, who? Peter uh -huh. <laughs> As my husband, as my husband, to have, to have, and to hold, and 
For better for us. For better for us. I will love you in plenty. I will love you in plenty. In poverty. In poverty. In good health. Good health. In sickness. In sickness. I will love and obey you. I will love and obey you. According to the will of God. According to the will of God. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Praise the Lord. Okay, there is no, no normally there should be the Bible that symbolizes the, the union, but irrespective of that, you have the ring. Do you have the ring? Also we bless the ring. So bless you. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife, and they shall twine, shall be one flesh. So then they are no more twine, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. As Brother Peter and Sister Mercy have agreed to be joined in holy matrimony, even as they have confessed this before God and man, and part it up with giving and receiving. Of the Bible and the everlasting testament, I say that they should both live together as husband and wife, as from today, in the name of the Father, Amen. in the name of the Son, Amen. and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Let somebody shout hallelujah. We are going to bless the ring. Father in heaven, we want to thank you. Thank you, Lord, for this ring. We pray that you sanctify it from above in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, the rind of ring symbolizes, O oh God, that there is no breakages. In this marriage, there will not be breakages in Jesus' name. Amen. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, Lord, you will surround them in Jesus' name. Amen. You that have started a new thing, Lord, you will accomplish for them in Jesus' name. We bless this ring in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, my last name, Father. Jesus, let me be free. So, thank you, thank you, the one for
bride. The, the husband will open the face and he will do justice and behave. But behave on the head. Yes. So please, it is time to uncover the bride and you know, the husband can now kiss the wife. Paparazzi, please you can take it up.
all requirements for marriage according to native law and custom and have appeared in the Jesus Victorious Church at Rue Gilde 21 to 25, 1070 Brussels, on this particular day, 7th day of May 2016. And we present this certificate. Who am I going to give? I think we got my own and gave to the wife, but now we have to join them together. Two of you will hold it. I present this wedding certificate in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. No condition will make me to tear this certificate. In the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let somebody shout hallelujah. That is the confirmation. Uh, before some of the stand is on the top of the so I'm going to sign it now. The other
Like morning wine, I da welele, yo go go go. Everybody they wait, put a kene no bo. If I di ma maka, better soup na money kilambo. I da uma uma peke peke mia, I da da. I da uma, I da da. Yo, I da da da. I da uma, I da da. Chey ya sa uma. I want to welcome in the newly wedded couple. They are the, they are the newest in town. You can't comprehend that. Please, with the dancing arrival of the bride and bride and groom and their, and their entourage, please welcome, please, as we stand on our feet, as we welcome Mr. and Mrs. Omar Forum. Please. Oh, yeah. 
and gentlemen, we are going to kick off for the program now. And uh, we'd like to commit everything to the hands of the Lord. And we have a very, we are going to invite a very special person here. We are all special. But she's a minister. We're just going to invite her to take the opening prayer before we introduce people to the high table. While we are still waiting for the MC. Please put your hands together as we welcome our mother, Mrs. Pat Ihele, if I say that correctly, ma. Please put your hands together. Pat Ihele. Bless you all. This is the day the Lord has made. We will be rejoiced and be glad in it. It's the day we have been waiting for. And it's a good day. We are going to dance and the water will come out. Hey, hey! Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Praise Master Jesus! We have to stand up to rest for what he has done today. For making it a successful marriage. No, no rain, nothing. I'm just ordinary servant of God. Praise the Lord. Father Lord, we just thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless you, Lord, for the life of this couple. We thank you, Lord, for making it a day for them, Lord. A day you have set, you have, you set aside for them. The rain will, that, will, that will flourish their life, it will not dry in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, we commit this today into your able care, the, co the both couple, the bride and the bridegroom. Father Lord Jesus, as you have ordained this marriage, it has been ordained in heaven. It has been ordained in, uh, in earth. It has been ordained by God. It has been ordained by man. Father Lord, anyone that will bring sorrow to this marriage, we cast into the abyss in the mighty name of Jesus. We call the Father, we call the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Ghost. The way that are rejoicing with them, Father, I want you, Lord, to bless them according to what you have done today in the life of this couple. Those that are looking for marriage, Lord, Father, let before the middle of this year, let them celebrate, Lord. Let the depression not depart from them, my Lord and my God. Father, Lord, above all, Lord John, Jesus, increase them with the fruit of the womb so that they be fruitful and multiply. Father, we just thank you. Father, as we are going to celebrate it and dance with them, it's going to be of joy. It's going to be of happiness. Father, Lord, we be to our different perspective for guide and protect everyone. Guide everyone, Lord Jesus. Guide the celebrant. Guide everyone, Lord. I cover this prayer with the blood of Jesus. I soak this place with food, everything we are going to eat with the blood of Jesus. I soak everyone with not start this with the blood of Jesus. I soak the family, the, the couple with the blood of Jesus. I soak the angels that I the the brother, the 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 I soak them with the blood of Jesus. You are too much to be wasted in the, in the Lord. You are too anointed to be wasted. Nothing will waste your life. Amen. Nothing will waste your life. Amen. No death or sickness will waste your life. Amen. No principal is to have the call of God from you. Amen. I declare the prophetess of God and it shall be so in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, everybody, for standing for Jesus. Amen. Clap your hands, everybody.
join your hands together for this beautiful cover today. This is a special day the Lord has made. For us to celebrate these two wonderful people. But today they have become one, not two anymore. Look at them, verse if you see that gentle brother, look at how handsome he is with his suit. But if you check the other side, I bet we'll find a pass among two of them. I bet. It's like the ladies are biased. Yeah. Is it the auntie or the big, big uncle? Please join your house to the for that place. God bless you, sir. God bless your union. Yes, before I start tonight, I would like to welcome some persons sitting right here in the audience. We will reserve some special seats for some special persons. So, ladies and gentlemen, please, if you hear your name, I would like you to move over. To the seat is up for you. We, we call it high table. But everybody sitting here today, you are on the high table. But this one we reserve is for some special persons. The chairman of today, please, if you, once I call this person, DJ, please you work with me. Where is DJ? DJ in the house. Please, if I call this person, we'll just be joining our hands together for these people. They are wonderful. The first on my list here is the chairman of this occasion tonight. Is no other person than Papa K. Please join your hands together for our Papa in the house. Papa, if you are present, you are neither right and hard to look. <laughs> Madam Vivian Idemudia from Amsterdam, Netherlands, to the hard table. All right. The assumption that I will jump to the next. Please join your hands together. Join your hands together. Join your hands together. Mama, you are welcome to the house. Before I start, I will quickly like to introduce the man that will be giving us all the sweet melody for today. We are looking, they are not like that too, so I will say Mr. and Mrs. Pastor Peter. That clap, not my own, not my own, not my own. Not my own. Not my own. Stop clapping. You are not, we are not clapping yet. Now I may have not pay you. Please, if you know you came here to celebrate these people tonight, I would like us to join our hands together as we celebrate them. Please celebrate this beautiful couple, Mr. and Mrs. Peter. But I'm not I'm not doing her name. She's Mrs. Mercy Peter. I bet I'm not a clap for her. Um, if you if you see this invitation card, in fact, I'll go go to the side. If I will trip. In fact, I'll teach you. I'll go to my my own invitation card. I'm not man. I'll man. I'll copy. Man, I'll copy uh, you not give me the right to copy. <laughs> Somebody join hands so that for the Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Please, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I understand so many persons who left our house long ago. So by now we might have been as maybe we are famished. So I would like you to just walk towards the food, grab the plates, take something and enjoy yourself. Please feed your stomach for a while before we start. Thank you. The Lord is half person now. In fact, do first, serve yourself, now we call all of them. So just walk out, go that place, carry plates. Enjoy yourself small. We will soon start, I beg. Thank you. DJ, I'm going to give them a fine one minute to eat. We have a sweet person for body. Anybody want to do that? 
Ladies and gentlemen, please give me a E. I understand some persons from the beginning of some envelope. I don't know what that is for. It's available if you need any envelope. Please, you just walk to that gentleman standing over there. He's the usher for tonight. Ask for envelope from this gentle brother. God bless you.
please let's join our hands together as we welcome the charity of today's occasion to the high table. Mommy kids to the high table. Mama, you are welcome. Please join your hands together as we walk to the high table. Please. Yeah. First of all, I'll start with the place of the bride because today is her day, she's a special one. Now, daughter, we, we go back. Now, daughter, we go carry. So, everything with the feel you have to do. Yes, please, somebody join me. Let's welcome Mrs. Mercy Segas. Who's the mother today? Yes. Somebody join your house. What are the. Ushers, I don't join me. The high table will be a place, though. I'm also, where is she? Where is she, please? <laughs> on our way. I want everybody to do on our way. On his way. He's still coming. Not yet around. I want. <laughs> please join your hands together. As he's coming, he's, he's being accompanied by the father of the bride tonight. Mr. Kelvin Osube, please turn your hands together for them as we walk to the high table. Uh -huh. Bless you, sir. Give up. Hey! That's the mother of the bride. Mama, you are welcome. the father here, Mr. Fusa in my form. Please join your house together for Papa in the house. That is your welcome. Yes. These are the two, the parents who decide to give their children out today. The children, of the parents of the bride, they decide to give their daughter to the group. While the parents of the group decide to go join their son, Married from the family of the bride. Please join your hands together for this family. <laughs> All right, we clap. Now let this side we come from this side. Please, somebody clap for this beautiful couple and the family. Join your hands together for them. As we were just talking, one of our mama is also the members of, members of the high table. I would like you to join me as we welcome our big mama, patient in a breaky to the high table, please. Somebody join your hands together for our mama. Yeah, DJ, you need free your dog. Free your make it back. Don't worry, all the people are on this side. If I call their name, this side, they could not clap. Because now they are clap, they are clap on this side. Yes, yes. DJ, just entertain us, little. We are still waiting. So please, if you know you are a member of this family, as a couple, they are going to walk to this, walk straight to this dance floor. Please, I would like you to take the dance floor with them. Boss, you made a good choice. I bet we want to join hands together for that man. Thank you, sir. 
As we've chosen this uh, beautiful sister, so the Lord will choose to bless you. This union, before you know, cry of children. In fact, they're going to say, Yeah, you go say, we're not too much. You go, you go see that first. Children will fill your house. Okay? Because that's the toy of every union. When there is no children in the union, in fact, you see family member. Even the woman family said, there, so you should say that, brother. Eh? Then the brother side, they don't say, wait, how long? They don't they ask. But your taste will never be like that, sir. Before you get to the house, in fact, the first night as you now enter. No, no break. No break, no break. I'm, I'm prophesying, you might say I'm just talking, but I'm pronouncing that it's coming to pass. It's coming to pass. This time next year, we'll be doing public dedication. Please join your hands together for that. Join your hands together. Join your hands together. Take a now, take a now. Abel, as you are not live on more. Eh? You want to live on? From where? Carry your hand. Carry your hand. Until she don't put this down today. You not not leave her hand. The dragon fall everywhere. I'm back. Eh? Yes, DJ. Hey, please, family member, take the dance floor with a couple. Thank you.
If you go check and wear, now church our uncle for city santi. Because the, the, the way she take dance. Yes, yes, yes. No, she's a good dancer. She's a good I'm boss. Now that I'm with you. I'm not a good. Now that I'm with you. As she starts like this, you too. You turn her from ground. Uh, yes, ma. We that they, that they go like this. On Kukaria, let you to the goal. Last one, ma. Yes, yes, yes. Before I start, I will just quickly run to the list of the high table. Please, if you know you are present here and you hear your name, please kindly move to the high table. The Parfellis, our mother to the high table. Papa Hope and Mama Hope to the high table if you are present. Mr. and Mrs. Murphy to the high table. Mr. and Mrs. Bright, Mark in touch to the high table. F. Eta Afesa to the high table. Madam Vivian in the middle she is seated. Yes, I remember. Right now, uh, before we move on, I would like us to clear this floor so that we have enough space to dance. Now looking at it, you will know it's a, a marriage cake. That brother and sister, they do on top. On top, you will remain in Jesus' name. Yes. I'm not going to do the cutting of the cake. Somebody bake this beautiful cake. So I would like to call on the baker of this cake, Sister Emotia to direct us on how to call this cake. Please join your hands together for our sister Imwati here in the house. <laughs> Mommy Imwati here, if you are present, I would like you to join me here. Join me on this cake stand as we about to do justice to the cake. The truth of the matter, what will make us be here to be here today. Yes, I have been talking in English language in fact, the, the people that are getting married, they are, I think they are Benin. Yes, I would like to talk a little in my dialect so that... Because we have some old persons here who might not be too fluent in English language, so I would like to talk a little in our dialect. A tiny girl, a tiny one. He told me, I'm not born to a mother, I'm not born to a mother, I'm not born to a mother, I'm not born to a mother. Oh, when the wire is around, then I give you a new fire with Jesus. I can't say why. Oh, why can't we need Jesus? A team of no, Mr. Peter, the bad mommy, Messi. He ain't too zen. He ain't wah, he ain't nah, he ain't nah, he ain't zen. He ain't nah, he ain't nah, he ain't nah, he ain't nah. He ain't nah, he ain't nah, he ain't nah. He ain't nah, he ain't nah, he ain't nah. He ain't nah, he ain't nah, he ain't nah. He ain't nah, he ain't nah, he ain't nah. He ain't nah, he ain't nah, he ain't nah. He ain't nah, Auntie, thank you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I said, Praise the Lord. This is a very in the life of our sister and in the life of our brother Peter. It's a day every one of us wish to observe. Only the lucky ones observe it. That is why we are gathered together to celebrate with them. And I bake this beautiful cake to show how sweet their marriage is going to be. I decided to go very far to show the latest cake for the latest couple. I always build the cake on the round shape, which always signify endlessness. This marriage I've started, but it will know no end in Jesus' name. Amen. No intruder will have no hole into your marriage in Jesus' name. Amen. And I use another 
shape again. That is the Bible. And I'm very happy our brother is a pastor. The Bible is the solid rock of every Christian. No matter the wind, no matter the rain, the marriage will stand. There is bound to be public marriage, but when it is builded on a solid foundation, it will not break. It. But those that are built, builded on sand, they float away. Their marriage is built on a solid foundation and it shall remain forever in Jesus' name. You see, I decided to make it step by step by step. The race of life is step by step. But for sure, we will get to the highest. That's why I decided to place them on the highest position. They are going to attain the highest rights in life in Jesus' name. No obstacle shall stand on your way. No wind shall stand on your way. You shall attain your highest position in Jesus' name. The wise thing of is purity. Pureness. I will advise the corporates to live pure. Spiritually, physically, faithful to each other. And your marriage will be sweet in Jesus' name. Amen. And the couple does guys royalty. I can already see it in her. She smiles like a princess. You shall experience great things in your marriage in Jesus' name. You will never lack anything in the name of Jesus. So I will advise the couple to stand up again to march down for the cutting of the cake. DJ, please play nice music for us at the couple from downstairs.
pray, Master Jesus. Yes, I see the way God has been coming behind. That could be by one person together. Lord, one put our son down. What have been what has it to do here and the experience together they continue? The starting of the cake was so hard, but it was 50 50. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. You can get to your seat. For me two and the final, the two of them won. That is to say they will rest to be a winner. They will rest to be victorious. Nothing separates them. In Jesus' name. Now, I know that the man has fully given my sister money to prepare a nice dish for her. And I'm sure she has gone to the kitchen and she has prepared it. We made the choice together and she took something nice. But I still say she knows what is very good. I want you to show me or show us how you are going to feed your boy, husband, and see people get soon. So we are watching. Mm -hmm. I'm not helping it. She's asking me if I would do it. No, no, no. She has to do the work. Do the work thing. Voila. Nobody, oh, no coming there for me. Voila. Yeah. She's busy in the kitchen, huh? No, we women, we take our time. So she's busy. She's doing the preparation. Sit to your husband. We are waiting for she has finished, finished cooking, now she wants to set the food. <laughs> voila! Ah! I was waiting for this. Hey! Obedient to us! Now so! Now so! Now so! Give her a big clap! Hey! Now the one will now to set the go. Monsieur also should do the same. <laughs> okay. We are going to watch the man. We are going to watch the husband feed the wife also. Are we watching? Oh, that was so. Hey, the man is even eating the wife. Let's give them a very big hand of applause. There is something that really instructed me. I was waiting for that. When she finished preparing the food, she put a big one in one plate for her and her husband. That was perfect. Not Oga apart, Emmy apart. She knows from today they are one. And they eat from one table. And you people shall be blessed forever in Jesus' name. Until she feed her husband with wine. Hallelujah. Okay. We are going to watch the couple. Oh, this respect will never end in Jesus' name. Not the every woman they do. All. Yes, somebody give me a bottle of wine. That was just, they just felt themselves that we have to make a toast to this beautiful union. Yes. Ah, 
the chairman is not here to do the toasting for us tonight. So do you have a special choice? Who's going to do the toasting for us? Do you have any person in mind? DJ, take it down, take it down, take it down. Yes, if I, I want to wear a sorry, I'm going to go to the place to go. I if I, if I don't wear a sorry, I'm going to go the mountain, the mountain has been placed on you. So if I, yeah, don't worry around. DJ, hold it. Please, uh, I want somebody to just pass the uh, disposable cup around a bit. We're going to make a toast to this beautiful union. Please, also us in the house, give us some disposable cup. Hello, sir, Mr. MC. The thing is, I'll tell you what you're doing. I'm not even seeing what you're doing. So, I don't want to move there. Pass on me, I'm already. I'm not going to move there. So, 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 I'm not going to move there. Please, join your house together for our papa as he comes to do the toasting for us. Join your house together for us. Don't drink yet, don't drink if you don't have it. Do you have the cup? Do you have the cup? Okay. DJ please work work on your system. They have another one there. Yes. DJ please. Increase the mic for me, please. It's not working, it's not working well. Volume, please. Volume, volume, volume. Volume to... Increase the volume for the mic, please. If you know you have a drink in your cup, you are very free to walk out of this place. You're gonna give them a chance. As the part just said, the part just wish them a successful marriage life, a marriage blessed with children, a fulfilled marriage is what they're going to experience. So somebody come give them a chance. Hip, hip, hip. Hip, hip, hip. And if you love this couple, give them a chance. Yeah, cheers, cheers. Come on. Yes, give it to them now. Yes. If they chase you, sir, you can go with your drink. Let's 
you walk to my suspension. Leave there, leave that place. Go. Yeah. Uh -huh. DJ, yes, yes, now he's walking. Yes, DJ, you're okay now. Ah, yes, yes. Now you are showing love. I can see my honorable papa in the house, Mr. Ubudu, all the way from Antwerp. You are welcome, sir. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. DJ, you will give us music before you begin work out. Okay, give us now. Just play the music when you. Yes, thank you, thank you. Yes. Yes, members of the right table will be getting ready. Very soon I'll be telling you to tell the dance floor with the side of the ground. you are welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. Good night, sir. Good night, sir. Good night. Uh -huh. Members of the right table will be getting ready. I will be telling you very soon to tell the dance floor with the side of the ground. Members of the right table. Come on, 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 it will be your time to take the dance floor with her. Uh -huh. Oh, thank you, dear sister. All right, God bless you. Thank you, Johnny. If you find dollar, okay, pray with dollar. But if you don't find dollar, don't wait. Begin to use you.
Thank you, thank you. Thank you, the back of the high table, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Beautiful couple, thank you, thank you. We cannot proceed to our seat. for the celebrants. DJ, please give us a Christian music. Let's shake our body with the celebrants. No why? Please, if you have a gift for the celebrants, no worry, just hold it. I'll call on you very soon. And please, uh, if you want to present your gift to the celebrant, somebody will be standing by. I think he's going to be the best man. He'll be standing by then. He's going to be the one to collect the, the gift from you. Please just give it to him. Jesus Victorious Ministry. Church, come out and say the Lord. Okay.
Thank you, 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 International Prayer Group of Belgium, all over Belgium, don't go to the dance floor with a celebration. to take the dance floor with the celebrant. Thank you. DJ, let it go. Oh, my God. 
Yes, please, if you know you are still searching, the, the beautiful bride says she would like to give you her gift. So all the single ladies in the house, she'd like to give you the flower first. So if you know you are there, single, searching, I beg, come stay for a year. Come stay for a year, who catch the flower, then be the next one online, no? She says she wants to throw her flower. So who gets there? Who gets all the singles in the house? I bet if you get husband, now go come out to your husband, go carry God. No? Until you just stay that side. Yes. I bet when the, all the singles in the house, this way. All the singles. Until wait, wait, so they are still coming. Some of them will see it first. They never know how to take up out. Yes, I don't want to come out, they never know. Just give them small time. That will, when they see some come out, they will so much courage that will join them. Are you coming? She's about to join it. Okay, how do you say it? Shy, 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 man. What the? All the singles in the house. Yes. Yes, are you ready? So, Auntie, do your job. Today, the Auntie will call you now, you don't be. But uh -huh. yes, but you not do pasha, not do pasha. Yes, oh yes. But if you want to catch for your sister, oh now your your in fact now your picking now you want to start for come catch for her, come catch for her, come catch for your picking. Come catch for your piquet, come catch for your sister. Yes, she's about to run it. She's about to run it. Yes. Who's gonna catch? Who's gonna catch it? Who's gonna catch it? Who's gonna catch it? We are watching. Okay. Okay. She's going, 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 going.
Oh, thank you, Pafo. No one has one who are worthy. Eh, one. Daddy, vote of thanks. Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise the Lord, somebody. I wish to, on behalf of my wife, express our special thanks to every one of you here who have traveled far and near to bridge this occasion. If you had not been here, this gathering wouldn't have been possible. But I want to first appreciate God who has given us the gift of life. And that is why we are here to celebrate this with us today. For that I say thank you every one of you. And as you journey your way back home, the peace of God will go with you in Jesus' name. Thank you, thank you every one of you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. That was a vote of time from the celebrant, the, the groom. DJ, you cannot give us more entertainment. But dance, dance, dance. Yeah, let's keep dancing. Let's keep dancing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 